Hey everyone, this is Phil from The Cubicle. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the GAN 356 Air UM, current world record cube and product from a collaboration between GAN and Cubicle Labs. Let's take a moment first to understand the cube starting from the base model, the Air. The Air first debuted in the summer of 2016 and was introduced with a variety of new features like the GAN's elasticity system, a smooth and sturdy feel, and a weight of only 73 grams. The Air Ultimate is a handmade upgrade to the Air done by GAN and is offered on a limited basis by the manufacturer. The cube we have here is an Air Ultimate with magnets, which was the major point of collaboration between GAN and Cubicle Labs. So essentially, this puzzle is an upgrade of an upgrade. Pretty cool. To discuss more about the cube's design and development history, here's Felix Zemdegs. Hi everyone, it's Felix here. I'm going to quickly run you through the making of this cube, given that I was somewhat involved with the process. So, the testing phase for the GAN 356 Air UM was quite lengthy, but we felt was very necessary to achieve such a great end result. After magnetic cubes were released onto the market, the team at GAN decided they wanted to mass produce them in their factory. At that stage, it was merely an idea, and after collaboration with the Cubicle Labs team, I was sent some initial prototypes for the GAN 356 Air UM. Essentially, these cubes contain different strength magnets, and my role was to test them out with a variety of different setups. I then provided my feedback that GAN used as an input for the multiple iterations of the design process. We felt it essential to gather feedback not only from me, but from, from a variety of other speed cubers as well, because different cubers can have completely different preferences. An obvious example of this is, although it's reasonably well known that I use yellow nuts in my cube, the GAN 356 Air UM uses purple nuts as a factory default, as that seemed to be a universally liked setting. As it so happened, I broke the 3x3 world record single with 4.73 seconds, barely one week after receiving the first prototype. I'm still not sure whether it was coincidental or the magic power of the magnets. I'm gonna go with the magic power of the magnets on that one. Speaking of the magnets, there are two in each edge piece and three in each corner, giving us a total of 48. The magnets enhance the cube's stability and ability to align, and also create a very unique tactile feel. Plus, the pieces can do this. The Air UM is priced at 4737 to commemorate Felix's record and comes with a nice bright set of stickers and purple GES nuts installed. The cube comes in a traditional GAN box and is packaged with the six other types of GES nuts, a metal tensioning tool, a plastic tensioning tool, and a GAN pamphlet. The cubicle edition of this product also comes with an exclusive pamphlet that we designed. The feel of this cube largely depends on the setup. Over the course of testing this cube, we found three alternative GES setups that work. Clear, green, and yellow. The cube comes with purple springs, and we'll be taking a look at that setup in this section of the review. So the cube comes looped by the factory and has a light and springy feel. The purple GES are on the lighter side and the GES spectrum, and so the pieces don't feel tightly bound together. There's a lot of freedom to move. This setup produces a cube that's extremely fast. One downside to this is that the cube can catch if you're being too aggressive with your turning. Like most top-level 3x3s, the Air UM corner cuts very liberally. The forward cutting goes line to line, and the backwards cutting is also really good, line to line. The forward cutting does get a bit better after setup, and switching out the springs also helps a lot. The cube is relatively flexy, and you can pull the pieces around the cube like this. The magnetic feel is there, but it isn't extremely pronounced. Turning a layer slowly gives a subtle, bumpy feedback. The feel is a lot smoother when turning different layers quickly in succession. The end slices are relatively light, and it doesn't feel at all that you're fighting against two parallel layers of magnets. All in all, the Air UM with the factory default purple GES is a quick cube with a springy feel. Its strengths are its speed and excellent tactility. The flex is a double-edged sword, though. While some regard the flexibility as a benefit, others prefer a more compact and stable feel. This is where the other color GES come into play. As purple is the lightest, many have developed preferences for the heavier springs, like the green, yellow, and clear. For more insight on these setups, let's talk to our testers. What's up guys, Damien here. I first had a chance to try this puzzle in the prototyping phase, when we were exchanging ideas with GAN about the best way to magnetize the puzzle. And I have to say that I wasn't initially a huge fan. The strong magnets made the puzzle feel blocky and bulky, and the weaker magnet versions were just uncontrollable for me. But that turned out simply to be a setup issue. The purple springs made the puzzle feel amazing out of the box, 
but I soon found out once the puzzle breaks in just a little bit, the purple GES nuts make the puzzle completely uncontrollable. But once I got my own version of the puzzle and had a chance to play around with the different types of GES nuts, I found a setup that I really enjoyed solving. And after trying a few different sets, I've settled on the clear GES nuts. This, combined with Way 3 on the tracks and DNM37 on the pieces, makes this puzzle fit my turning style perfectly. And after all of that, I can comfortably say that this puzzle is now my main 3x3. I really enjoy the overall smoothness of it alongside the slight feedback of the magnets. But take this opinion with a grain of salt because I'm not a speed solver on the level of Felix or Chris, but I do know a good puzzle when I get one, and this is a great 3x3, but I'll let them tell you more. Hey guys, this is Chris. Out of the box, I was really surprised by this cube. Almost every unboxing I watched on it, people were praising it left and right, but I really didn't like it at all. The cube felt very flimsy, too fast, and just kind of cheap. I eventually swapped out the purple springs for clear, which was a little too tight for me, but it was better than purple. And then I tried green, which seems to be the best for me so far. It allows the cube to flex a little bit without feeling really flimsy. But honestly, even with the green, I'm not really a fan. I've lubed the cube with DNM37 and Lubical Speedy, which gave the cube a nice feeling, but it's still not for me. I don't think the Air UM is a bad cube, I'm sure it's perfect for some people, but for me it's not a cube that I enjoy solving on. Personally, it's my least favorite magnet cube that I've tried so far. The magnets in the UM are the weakest of any magnet cube, which is actually something I've wanted for a while. I like other magnet cubes, but I've always thought weaker magnets would be a little nicer, so in that aspect, it definitely did a really good job. The magnets are barely noticeable when you're speed solving. But overall, the cube just isn't for me. Maybe it's just because I'm not a huge fan of GAN cubes to begin with. The GAN 356 Air UM is currently my main speed cube. My preferred setup is yellow nuts, a medium to tight tension, and I lubricate it with Traxxas 30K. These settings allow me to turn as fast as I like, and yet the cube still remains stable. I also like how subtle the magnets really are during speed solves. They add awesome stability and don't interfere with your turning. I've been able to use the final product in competition once, and it performed excellently, which to me is the most important thing in a speed cube. Like Damien and Phil have said, the feel of this cube is greatly dependent on how it is set up and lubricated. That's it for this review. We hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching.